So once we've identified who the competition is, the next question is, what do we want to know about those competitors? Well, let's start with a couple of my favorite quotes. First, to catch a chicken thief, you have to quit thinking like a chicken and start thinking like a thief. What that really means, of course, is that if you really want to be able to compete against the other firms in your industry, you have to know how they think and what they and what it is important to them. Most marketers spend more time worrying about the competition than anything else. And my argument is you can either worry about the competition or you can learn about them. And of course, learning about them gives you the best chance to be successful. The wise learn many things from their enemies, a famous Greek philosophy philosopher quote. And of course, my argument is your first mistake is usually underestimating the competition. As soon as you start thinking that you're better than the competition, you're opening yourself up for potential ruin. So what do you really want to know? Well, think about a competitor analysis like a scouting report in football. You'd like to know what your competitors are doing right now, what they'll do next, and what they'll do in the future. In reality, you want to know what they're good at and what they're not good at. Current strategies. You'd like to know about their products offered, their prices, advertising, distribution, etc. And you'd like to know uh, how, what their competitive advantage is, what the reason to buy their product is, and their, and their unique selling proposition. In reality, you'd like to know the strengths and the weaknesses of each competitor. You'd like to know their historical, current, and future sales. Why? Well, if their sales are continuing to go up, then they'll probably stay on the same path they're on. However, if their sales tend to be going down, they're much more likely to change strategies or become more aggressive in the marketplace. So what's important to the competition? It's important to understand if it's sales, profits, image, innovation, expansion plans, or something else. You'd like to know something about the competition's leadership. Why? Well, the leadership will give you a good indication as to how that organization is going to react because you can identify what has worked for this leadership team in the past and what they're likely to do then again in the future. The other thing you'd like to know is how important is the business unit to the parent company. For some organizations, they're operating in a, in a business unit that's not very important, and as a result, they're not likely to acquire the resources necessary to become a strong competitor. You'd like to know something about the, comp the competition's capabilities. You'd like to know about their ability to make the right decisions. You'd like to know something about their past successes and past failures. You'd like to know what they're good at and what they're bad at. And you'd like to know something about their ability to predict and respond to the future and adapt to other changes. Putting it all together, you really want to understand what probable moves the competition will make next. What is their strength and seriousness of past and future moves? How vulnerable are they and where are they vulnerable? And of course, once again, what their strengths and weaknesses are. And then finally, we need to identify who our most intense rivals are and our less intense rivals and do a good job of understanding how we're going to compete against them in the marketplace.